In this last video, we're just going to take care of the images. So let's uh, get this image wrangled in and these images placed. So the first thing that we'll do is let's inspect this. I'm always using the inspector. I hope you are too. It's very helpful. Um, and I'm looking at this image here. I see that it is inside the header image which is inside the page. Now, the interesting thing is here, I know that I told my page div to be 90%, right? I know I did that. Why is the image jumping out of that? So that's because the max width tag has not been set. I'm going to go ahead and set that, and I'm going to add it to my CSS. Um, it's just important to make sure an image doesn't leave its container. Let's see, where will I put it? I'll put it below the page, below the header. Okay, I'll put it right here. So I need an image selector. And the max width tag, you've probably used it or seen it before, but you're going to learn a lot about it right now. If I say max width equals 100%, not pixels, where's my percent? There it is. Um, you'll see what that does for it. So I'm going to save. And basically what this is saying is that whatever container it's in, it can't be any larger than that container. At the maximum, it can be 100% the width of its parent. So let's do a save and a... We'll check it out. And there it is. It's refreshed already because this is the live browser. So that works great. And when I resize my window, it resizes with it. So that's fixed. Now let's take care of these cat on tile floor. Oh my gosh. So let's go over to the, are they placed here? Let me do a find. I'm going to find the word cat. Um, not there. I think it's in the HTML that they're placed. Yes, I'm going to do find again. Command S on my computer, Control S on you if you're on Windows. And I'll just type cat on. Here it is, cat on tile floor. So, ha, here I've got this text that says place cat on tile floor image pick here. So I'll do that. Um, where is it? <coughs> It's in my assets folder, so I'll just start typing. I should get a code hint, images, and which one is it? Cat and corner? Which one is the one? Oh my gosh, will I know? Uh, I'll have to look. Cat basket? Cat couch? Oh my god, look at these cats. There it is, cat on tile floor. Okay, that's called cat in corner. Oh my gosh, look at that cat. These are fun. So I want images forward slash cat in corner. And I've already got my alt tag, so that's good. Save, and here it is, cat on couch. So I'm just going to get rid of that, start typing my path, images, cat couch. And wonderfully, everything is there. Here's cat in basket. Start typing. I always like to click these to let it finish because I'm a terrible typist. This is going to be cat basket. Save, and let's take a peek. So I'm going to close my inspector tool. You'll see everything popped in just as it should. Now, I do want to show you what happens if I didn't use that image max width tag, right? Let me go over to my style.css. And I remember putting it up here. So if I simply comment this just for now and save, look what happens. These images are not contained within their containers, right? They're snaking out, just like this snaky cat. Oh my god, he looks empty of guts. What is up with that? OK, um, so obviously, I don't want to have that commented. I want to have my max width tag there. 
because when you're dealing with liquid layouts or responsive layouts, this is just a very common tag that you'll, you'll need to have. All right, let's play with viewport next and we'll be done.